I'm literally not sure of what to talk about in today's video, so I'll just be sure to say whatever comes up throughout this entire recording we are going to do. We're just kind of going to go with the flow, I suppose. Yeah. Um, articulate whatever download comes through or comes up. Most of us are natural born leaders. It's just that we haven't established the time yet to develop it. You know, leadership it comes with an immense amount of responsibility that we can all guarantee is not simple to carry. <clears throat> In terms of becoming a better leader, of course, I acknowledge the fact that not all of us have the advantage of seeking counsel from others some things are needed to be found out on our own through acquisition of lessons through our individual separate individually separated experiences as people um perfection is an illusion while you might think that the other leaders around you have little to no numbers of weaknesses they do actually have weaknesses they are just well trained in terms of concealing it or covering it up rather um, just because you see someone at their best doesn't necessarily mean that doesn't automatically imply that they have no moments where they are at their worst. I need you to remind yourselves that because, okay, certain um gifts in ourselves right now are being awakened to its fullest which could contribute to the discomfort we might be feeling as of the moment i'm here to remind you that it's normal it's normal to feel ashamed of those mistakes you have made Especially after realizing the aspects of leadership you could have known better on. Um, it's okay to think that. But don't stay in that mindset for too long. Be sure to find solutions based on the things you wish you could have been better at. It's time that you stop feeling intimidated by the members you're being grouped with. In fact, they should be the ones getting intimidated by you. That is not to say that you should be overly controlling of them, self-centered, bossy, you know. Um, not gonna lie, those terms are kind of interchangeable with the word confidence based on how a person interprets it. Depen contingent on the state of mind they're in. I just realized something. Hatred kind of actually does not exist at all. It's just called different people having different opinions on one thing. 
no, not one thing, perhaps a particular thing or person. Um, we, it is technically impossible <coughs> for us to find something or someone to be despicable for no reason. <coughs> and what I mean by that is, you know, occasionally people could start hating on something or someone out of jealousy, you know? It is inevitable. But if you think about it, if you are looking forward to uh, viewing things from a bigger picture, from a wider perspective, rather, these haters we have, they're just different people having different opinions about us. They are just people being human beings that they have the complete right to be. My bad, somebody just entered the room and I had to pause the recording. So, yeah. Uh, apologies for the background noise that you might have possibly heard a while ago. I am quite exhausted now, so. Yeah. But regardless. I still came up with the idea of acting on an insight I had. Guess it could definitely help someone out there. Especially if you are dealing with jealous people in your school. People who want to sabotage you just because they are dedicated to assuming the worst out of you. Yeah, sometimes you gotta fight fire with fire, you know. Sometimes you gotta be petty back. But in a more mature way, if you know what I mean. If this is not your situation, then you're free to scroll through something else. Something else that may resonate more with whatever your situation is. Something else that could resonate more with your preferences personally stop watching my videos if you don't even like them to begin with you know what day by day I'm starting to become more brutally honest and I'm not necessarily sure if it's something to be proud of or not however I suppose it's more so something I should be proud of because I really wasn't able to stand up for myself in the past. I used to be <coughs> a pushover. The type of person that everybody could easily walk all over. Yeah. Now, I'm in a place where I've learned quite a lot, although I still have a lot to learn, definitely. But I am trying the best that I can to at least impart the part of me that could serve as a guardian angel to some people out there in the world. They may not make themselves known over the internet, although some of them may try to, but yeah. I'll always try my best to make myself known to them. Even if it means me being the one who takes the initiative of putting myself out there. I kind of just worded it the same way, you know? It's kind of foolish, actually. No, not foolish, but hilarious, rather. I'm kind of sleepy now, so that's all I have to say. I might upload another video, but it's going to be a shorter one than this shorter one as compared to this 
Peace out.